What is up, my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley, and welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. This is going to be for the star sign of Scorpio for October 2020. Take what resonates and leave behind what does not. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, where your messages will 100% correlate to your story because they are specifically for you in mind, you can find all the information how to reach me in a reading in the description box down below. If you like the content that I make or would like to support me, please go smash the like and subscribe button. Without any further ado, I have already gone and pulled your cards off camera like always for you, Scorpio. So let's get right into the reading. Alright, we got the Five of Swords. We got the Five of Cups. And then Justice was the overall outcome, Major Arcana Energy. So let's break this down. The Five of Swords represents somebody that steps on somebody's toes on purpose. They are defeatful. They do not care if the other person loses. If they win, they don't care. They just want, they are very selfish. Um, it, it's kind of like the shitty boss at work who really doesn't care about you and kind of just cares about himself or the company. Uh, everybody else can get fucked. Um, but this card, look at the way that this is illustrated. He was clearly having like a play sword fight with a few of his friends. He became the winner and he was very bragging about it. He took away their swords. He kind of um, probably severed his friendship with them. So it is because of that... Um, a defeat card or a win at a very steep cost. You are going to be losing something here. The Five of Cups also is representative of that, but it, this is more so a card of uh, a partial loss because you are crying over spilt milk. Something happened, something was disappointing, but if you look at the card closely, you can see that he is only focused on the three cups that have been spilt and not recognizing the two standing directly uh, behind him that are full and not spilt. And I kind of, I understand that because it's kind of like, let's say that you bring in all the groceries um, and you're carrying like five bags and, and you drop three of them. You're not focusing on, oh my God, I'm so happy two of the bags are standing. You're like, oh my God, that was a majority of my groceries. I'm going to have to go out and like, oh, but you don't you have to completely make up for all the groceries because there's still some left, but it's still disappointing all the less, nonetheless. Um, so that's kind of what this card is. It's, it, it is, you, there are things to be salvaged here. There are things that you can salvage here, um, but right now it's kind of more of you're not looking at that because you're upset at the uh, uh, initial defeat from the Five of Swords. I want to say, though, that the Justice card represents karma. It is legal karma. It represents if you do something in the eye of society, expect it to go the way that you react. So let's say that you pay your taxes. You don't go to jail for tax evasion. Likewise, if you do money laundering, if you do tax evasion, you're going to get caught eventually and it's going to bite you in the ass. Legally, this is a legal card, but it is also a societal card saying if you are in a social group of people and you act kindly to everyone, you are nice, you are good to everyone, um, people are to recognize that and they will treat you justly because they see that and that's just how that works if you are negative and you're bad and you're trying to hurt everyone and, and you're you're just an asshole to everyone that will also be returned to you it's kind of expect to give what you receive um so i'm a little bit nervous about this because these are really bad cards and i'm hoping that this isn't you doing these things because if the karma card for um, justice came out things are balanced and equal you get a good result if you react a good way, um, it's either saying that depending on how you acted, let's say you acted negatively, then it's kind of expect karma to follow through and kind of bite you in the butt. Likewise, if somebody else did this to you, expect a fair outcome where the truth is recognized and it will be in your favor. Um, so I'm just curious for my own morbid curiosity, where does this go where does this exact situation go? For the majority of Scorpios, where does the Justice card lead? Okay, so this is going to be in your favor. I definitely think somebody else fucked you over, and I think it's recovering from that shock. Um, de somebody else definitely has something coming to them. Um, and I feel like it, it's, yeah, it hurts, but it's not going to be a large off the skin of your nose card it's um no it is going to be off this it's, it's just a little bit of skin off the top of your nose it's not it's not a big 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 wound it's more like a flesh wound than it is anything major uh it is gonna hurt a little bit but i feel like there will be retribution i kind of do think that there is going to be consequences to this person acting shitty whether it be at his job his work um in a social situation where people are like i can't believe he did that to you that's fucked i'm not going to talk to you anymore kind of 
that kind of energy. Um, because I got the Magician, and the Magician isn't a card to me that reads, Oh yeah, well I feel left down the cold, Five of Pentacles, I'm really sad, Ten of Swords. I didn't get any negative energy. I got a really, really good card for saying that you are your own manifester. You get to decide where this goes. You're an alchemist. You get to decide what's next. I do definitely think something ended here. I think something, you might have walked from this. I think it was disappointing to say the least. Um, but I feel like you now have this new sense of, it's, this is going to happen first. Once the justice moment happens where you kind of feel vindicated, um, then you're going to feel a little bit more of yourself and it's going to allow you to kind of balance everything and be like, you know what, I got this. I can create whatever I want. Uh, depending on what that is, I feel like you are going to be able to take this in stride and I feel like it's going to be enough for you to carry on in a productive way for you to have growth. This is, a I know it's painful, but Scorpio, this is actually really good shit. Congratulations. I love you. I will see you on the flip side. Peace out.